what up welcome back to my channel this is the first official law school vlog i know i've been naming the last couple but mostly that was just in case other people who want to watch law school vlogs it shows up i have no idea how the algorithm works so it's probably not even showing up but anyway this is the first one where i'm actually gonna go to law school we're not counting me driving past the university of denver campus i'm actually gonna go there park the car with a parking permit and then go to orientation and that's what's happening and i have homework so i've been working on it steadily it's pre-orientation homework it's exciting stuff and a couple of things have happened since the last time we saw each other first of all i went to new york city and i have all that footage but i just haven't had time to edit it yet so i don't know what that's gonna look like i don't even know if i'll post it whatever because i just kind of want to get caught up and the apartment is way 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 more done than the last time we filmed together last time we spent time together quantity time and it looks good but it's still not 100 percent there but my room my room is probably 95 percent there there's a couple things still i want to do one is i want to get some more plants and two i've got this like plastic container that the papers are in like papers from forever that i need to go through first of all and like get rid of recycle and then also I have like some artsy stuff in there that I just need to put somewhere else. And then I don't want the plastic container out. Usually it's like in a closet, but it's there's nowhere for it in the closet. So it's been out and I don't like that. So anyway, that's what this video is gonna be is we're gonna, I'm gonna update you on how the room looks right now because I'm pretty excited about it. It's very cozy. And then also we're gonna do a little back to school backpack thing stuff that i bought for back to school and look at my binder together because i'm also pretty excited about that and then i don't really know what else is gonna happen i think i'm going on this journey just like you i'm completely unaware of the future i'm not i'm not clairvoyant in this sense not for what's gonna happen in this law school vlog but anyway let's take a quick little room tour i think i'll probably need to get up and move in order for it to be possible let's start off in this corner because look at how beautiful in that corner where the clouds are that general direction is where's my finger like loveland in a basin area and keystone and then like the lake is somewhere there so this is, you know, this is the outside. I'm not mad about this view. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is what I did over here. So this is my, the one plant that has really done well since moving from Indiana, although right now it needs to be watered, but it perks up really quickly. This is the camera that I got from my sister and my brother, my Canon, and then Sasha made this artwork or Krista I think Krista made this one I think Sasha's is over there but anyway so yeah sister artwork and then here's some of my library books and here's some of my law school books and I made that you've seen that before and then like I put the marble table so the marble table used to be on the other side of the bed and I moved it here and then put some of my vintage books on there and then the lights and I really do like these little lights that go over the bed. And then there's my bed. There's my glasses. And oh, this is, that's a fan because there's no air conditioning. This is one of my baskets that has the underwear and socks and stuff in it. And then Leah's bed is on top with her pineapple. That's one of my fur rugs. That's another one. That's another one. And then the big mirror is right here. And let's go into this corner. So... I don't even think I told you about what I was going to do with this wall at all. I do think I have footage of me doing some painting. I don't know if I'm going to put it in because it's just so much editing. But anyway, this is what this wall became. Oh, there's you guys. Do you see yourselves? Smile for the camera. And it's just a little gallery wall. Look at this craftsmanship up here. Are you seeing this incredible craftsmanship? along the top yeah. 
That is because there's some kind of sealant attaching the wall to the trim and the paint won't stick to it and I don't care that much. But anyway, so I did, I think I did talk about how I was going to use those for books in them, so I did that. There's eels and escalators. Those are my antlers. That's one of my salt lamps and also vintage books. Megan got me those flowers the other day. And just a bunch of gallery stuff behind it, which I think looks really cool. I really like the way that it came out. And then there's the door with some stuff. That's my, it's one of my hunting vests and school backpack and one of my packs and my raincoat. That is my turkey tail. That is the plastic container I'm talking about. We don't like it and it's not okay. Um, I think maybe I've already shown you this, but it's my little postcard slash handmade card artwork. Some of these are definitely worth looking at. Krista is very good at making cards. And then yeah there's me and there's you guys and that's the mirrored closet that we have this hasn't really changed much it's a little bit more organized but it's still stupid anyway oh let's get this out of here this is for later in the video this is kind of a surprise for you guys this is another for of course and let's back up and get the full effect of my little law school desk and my side table, and we can kind of zoom in a little bit. So I still have to get plants for these and these. That has not happened yet. This is the one that Sasha made. It's the same kind of thing, a little flamenco dancer. This is my friend Michelle made. It's called Misty Mountains. I know what you're thinking. But Julia, there are multiple Misty Mountains paintings by Michelle. How do I know which one's which? Exactly. You know, we're all kind of in that same boat. Anyway, so here's some incense in a nice little jar. Here are some thumbtacks. Yeah, and there's the sage. And here are little paper memo things made out of elephant poop paper. Um, this jar back here has a bunch of cords in it. This, of course, is my gavel from when I was a Supreme Court Justice. And then I just got some little cutesy things on my cork board that I put up myself. So I cut this. As you can see, like, it's very delicate. And it was a pain in the butt. And then I stuck it on here with double-sided mounting tape. And then I got my cute little... What's it called? Chalkboard. More... more cork more cards just to be nice and inspiring Krista made this and these are some pieces to a backgammon board that maybe Sasha made that one anyway here's a little laptop stand that I think I've shown before this is my drop alt keyboard that hasn't been modified yet oh, so satisfying and this is a purse that Sasha got me that is ripped and I might just use it to like hold pencils or something I haven't decided. Anyway, so this paint sucks, as you can see. I have gone over this paint with multiple, multiple coats. I have done multiple coats of polyurethane, and there's still a bunch of chips in it, like this. And like, there's a little bit, yeah, there's some right here, so I don't know. I might have to go over it again, but it's really annoying. And then I've got my bench. And yeah. So let's see if you can get a good shot on this side how the room looks. Yeah. It's just really, really cozy. I'm pretty happy with it. And that's all for the room as it stands. But I did want to go over what I got for my back to school stuff. And then I can talk about my backpack as well. You know what I mean? Let's, because I think I need to empty it actually. I brought it to work a couple times, so let me do that and then we can 
go over my back to school stuff and pack it. Okay. Okay. Cool. That was really dumb. Now we'll see if that'll happen again. Okay, so, all right, let's just look at, first of all, you remember my backpack? I have not, what is in here? A little sewing kit. I haven't fixed the sleeves yet and made them shorter. So I don't know if I have time to do that tonight. It would be a good idea, but it'd have to be by hand, which is, it's like really thick leather. I just don't know if that's something I can, wait a minute. No, that would just make it, can make it longer, but you can't make it shorter. Anyway, so yeah, that's the backpack. At least for this weekend, I'll probably just use it this way and then I'll figure something out in the future. I've been so excited to tell you about this and it's been, right, okay. So just scraped the desk that I told you has been chipping a bunch in my lazy pursuit of getting all the things to show you that I bought. So whatever, um, I've been really excited about this. This is my planner. I did, I was seduced by the idea of the Lux Lock School Planner because Madison Rector always talks about it, but I did end up getting this on Etsy from a small creator who makes them by hand. And I just think that the cover is really cute with like the, you know, it's just very like girly. It's very really like mental health positive. Someone just eating a pizza pizza and not worrying about it. And I have started to fill it in on this page. I just put all the weekends that I have school, like in person. And then in this one, I just used this pen, this pink artist pen. And I haven't taken out the tabs yet and put them on, but I've already started filling in my assignments because the syllabi have been posted. So um, something also that I, start, that I decided to do with this, I already track my cycles with an app just to say what the days that they are, but I also decided to write it down and then just write my symptoms in red. So that's what's happening with this. I'm very excited. Got my planner. I got, got this container to hold papers at Target. I know. I know. I know. I know. I also got the notebooks at Target because it just was really hard to tell what notebooks were like. Recycled paper, you know, fair trade, whatever. So I ended up just buying some from Target and I figured at least they're not like, you know, I'm paying extra for shipping or like they're, you know, causing a footprint by that because they've already been shipped. But anyway, they're also just kind of cute the way that they're set up inside. And there's like a gold motif on them, like a gold leaf print. And just, yeah, I like the style. What I really like to do is I like to coordinate my the colors of my notebooks with the days that I have classes. So starting in college, I had all of my two Monday, Wednesday classes were one color and all of my Tuesday, Thursday were another color. So I now only have Saturday and Sunday. So my Saturday classes, I have two of them are both black with the gold and the binding is gold. And then the inside is just like a nice little bronzy color with the like the detailing on the paper. So these ones will be Saturday and Sunday, which are lawyering process and crim law. And then Sunday will be, did I say that? The Saturday classes. Sunday will be property. So that is what's going to happen there. And I bought this notebook as well as more of a like general notebook. I really liked the vertical binding. It reminded me of legal pads, which I imagine I'll end up using those and switching. But anyway, 
I just like like the color of it is really pretty. I've been using this also with pink just because it's fun. And you know, I've been writing just general notes on here, like as they come up. I think I might use this more for orientation. Maybe things that make sense, like that I might use throughout law school, or maybe like if I'm networking or when I'm meeting with my mentors, because I'm going to have a peer mentor and a professional mentor. And I want to make law review and all kinds of stuff. Like, I just feel like maybe this will be a good notebook for that, just kind of general stuff. And again, it has like a little gold leaf print. Um, I just really like the, I don't know, I thought it was pretty. Tatum told me that if I don't L. Woods Law School, then it's homophobic and I believe that, so. Um, this I have not shown you before I did, and I filmed it originally, but then I never showed it because I hadn't figured out how to make the ink come out well, and it looked bad on camera, and I was disappointed. But this is my, this is a holder for it. Here, let's do this again. So, focus. Is it focused? It's hard to tell. Okay, so this is... A fountain pen. Close that back up. That I got on eBay. It's a Lamy. You can see right now it's empty. I've ordered more ink for it, and Megan has it, and she is coming over tonight, so I will not focus. There it goes. And this is what it looks like. Oh my god. There it goes. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And um, I like the idea of a fountain pen because it is more sustainable in the long term. Kind of. I mean, you still have to order ink, which comes in little bottles. It has to get shipped. But in any event, this is metal and can be reloaded. So um, I am really excited about that. I just think that it's very pretty. I also, of course, did get other... <laughs> pens. This I got to hold my pens in and this is a holdover. This is if you watch my video about decorating an Airbnb. This was one of my proudest purchases for like the gold copper color scheme that I had going on. Was that vintage scissors. And then I have some of these I already own but I really like artist pens for I use them for card making and then also just for for writing because I, I like them more but I have a bunch of those a bunch of artist pens and then I stole this from work because I'm gonna need highlighting in law school obviously and then this is a chalk marker for the chalkboard and I've already written one thing on it but I'm actually gonna use my chalkboard I just didn't have any reason to write on it yet so that will be happening and let's see what I got in here. I did have to go to Target and I went to Michael's. I did this the weekend that, um, the July 4th weekend, so it was about a month ago now. Went to Michael's and also I had found out about Jalen Walker that weekend and it was just a really, a really dispiriting time because it, the juxtaposition of people around me celebrating the 4th of July without a care in the world and another person had been shot by the police was hard for me to deal with so I did the only thing I could think which was to go to an American store and spend money but also there were no protests going on which is what I wanted to do but anyway I got some highlighters for law school I don't know people highlight in different colors at the beginning and then they stop I can prove it with my law school textbooks which I bought used on eBay people don't do that Ah, I didn't know you were here. What are you doing? Filming my YouTube video. Am I interrupting? You can be in it. Do you want to be in it? Yeah, flash your tits. Yeah, flash your tits. <laughs> <laughs> you look really cute. You're all dressed Thanks. up. I'm glad that you brought your sweater because I need to wear that. This is an empty envelope that I have kept. Oh, okay. Here's some more chalk for the chalkboard. It's not focusing. Okay, there it goes. 
so we can see if that works. I have no idea if that is going to work. And then more chalk markers. So I got pink chalk markers. And I got a pink and a green. And I got green chalk and white chalk marker. So. And I got artist pen. This one I actually just needed for doing my cards because I was out. Um, I think the one that I had was uh, was um, out of ink. Oh, I got this. I got a binder clip. Oh my god. And I think I bought this. I bought a couple. I bought them thinking that I could like put up papers on my cork board if I needed to, like bigger papers. I don't know. Will that be happening? I don't know. I've never been in law school before. So I'm kind of making it up as I go, honestly. But yeah, I got some more pens. So I did get, oh, I got blue and green artist pen. I really like these ones. This is like probably my favorite brand of artist pen. I mean, it's not like I have like brand loyalty. I just mean like I like the way that they write and I like the thickness of them. And then I got this one, which was a new one, which is a point. Oh, I know why, because it's a point zero five. So it's really fine. Oh my God, what? It's really fine. <laughs> so the point zero fives are really, really thin and can do really good detailing on really small drawings and cards. And then I got another pink and a blue. So I got a bunch of pens, which excellent and I'm going to put them some kind of pencil holder that's what I want to do okay this ugh every time it scares me <laughs> do you want a margarita? sure <laughs> it's Megan do you want a margarita? <laughs> <laughs> look now that you're here you can see the binder clips that I bought do I even need binder clips? I don't know are these what they're called? Paper binder, yeah, they're called binder clips. I don't even know if I need binder clips. She's gone again. She doesn't care about the binder clips. It's fine. But I don't even know if I need, I agonized in Target, like what kind of supplies do I need? For the longest time, I have no idea if I need binder clips. <sighs> well, we got them, so, you know, if you got them, flaunt them. And then I did get gold paper clips, which is interesting because I have Gold. No, I have copper wiring left over from crafting that I make paper clips with. So I could also do that and make my own paper clips if I want to. And so this is the last of the stuff in this bag. Ugh, there's like stuff in the bag that's been on the bed now. Which is fun, sexy time for me. So I got these like pastel Eastery sticky notes, and then I got these more rainbowy ones. I like the thin post-it notes because it's good for like, they're really good in books. I will rip a sticky note. I will like cut them into teeny little shapes and little rectangles. So I just got some small, just got darker. Something go out in the room. I don't know. It looks like it got darker. It's cause the battery's almost dead. Anyway, so, oh yeah. And then I got these pencils, which look really pretty. I love pencils. I like pencils. I mean, I don't know if I like them more than pens, but I do like pencils a lot. And so I got those ones. They're like pretty. Um, I ordered a bunch of custom made stickers on Etsy. Why? I don't know. Because I, I guess I'm really confident that I'm going to get that second mortgage. But anyway, <laughs> this is not going to open easily. I don't even know why. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I got these because I don't want to be homophobic. You'll get it in a second. See this? Okay. Get it? Yet? Get it? Yet? Now you'll get it if you didn't get it before. Yeah, I did get some Legally Blonde stickers and I also got two other sets that I ordered a month ago but they're not here yet. I don't know when they're going to get here, but they're just stickers to help motivate me to do my homework <laughs> in my planner. 
you know, because, and then maybe even my binder too. So that's the last thing I have to show you. Well, that's not true. I have a couple more things, but this is the almost the last thing I have to show you. And it's a binder because I'm, I was like, we have to have a, a binder that I can stand to look at. And there were actually some really cool custom made like leather engraved binders on Etsy, but they're also $25 and would take a while to ship. So I just went ahead and got this one. And it came with conveniently three of these. And I have three classes. So I just put, as you can see, the class names on them in the order that I have my classes. And I printed out my syllabi on this nice creamy paper at work so that I didn't have to, you know, worry about that. And then I have these adorable little paper clips that I stole from work. They're just like little, oh my god, cone shaped. Yeah, and I only have three, so it's kind of a sad realization. The most exciting thing in the world happened today, which is that my friend Molly, who you may know because you might be her, <laughs> there's like a 1 in 15 chance that you are actually her, did um, a paper in a real law review. Well, okay, that's not totally true. Do you see this where it says Molly and then has an asterisk? That's because Molly didn't really write it. It was written by Kelly Knuckles, but to be nice, Kelly Knuckles said that Molly wrote it and that Kelly Knuckles just gave her assistance or their assistance. I think we all know what's going on here because Molly never really went to law school, whatever. But in any event, I've got this paper and my goal of course is to be on law review. So it's good to start practicing reading potentially something that was actually in law review. But again, we know it wasn't. Okay, so that's the end of the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing in my backpack. And I don't think I'll bring all that tomorrow. You know I want to. <laughs> the first day of school, you want everything in your backpack. You don't, you feel like you, it's like a thing that you can't live with that. Like you're like, this is my backpack and all these things that I care deeply about and I don't want them to feel left out. And also I want to show everyone all the things I got in my backpack, but I don't need it for the orientation. I don't, actually I do have some orientation cases printed to read tonight. They're really short, <laughs> like, I think one's four pages. It says 15 out of 16, but I don't know if I really, yeah, I guess it is actually kind of long, but the other ones are two pages each. So they're just literally this, this is them. I still printed them out. So I will, the binder for sure is gonna go and pens and highlighters are gonna go. I just don't know if the notebooks need to go since I don't technically have any school this weekend. But anyway, let's look at, first of all, this, which you've been sitting on, is a little bed desk. So I have some options. And then this is the calendar. We haven't filled her in yet. But she's also really cute. Uh, I'm just going to hang up on the wall in this spot. It's an academic calendar. And I need to fill it in. Oh my god, this I bought for no reason. I actually... The truth of the matter is we could staple some of that stuff. In a binder, though, it's hard to staple things in a binder because you need... We have two options. Okay, so you can either work with them in the binder all the time and they're not stable because that would be so difficult to use or you can take them out of the binder every time it scares me. And so we could staple things with my stapler that I bought for no reason, but I did fill it with staples from work. Oh, you have a margarita? What? Wait, you made it? Yeah. Is it good? No. Mm, Do you want it? Ooh, it's salty. It's because it's because of your salt. Look at this. Do you want this? Do you or see not? this ridiculousness? The only other thing that needs to happen is we have to pick out a business casual outfit. Because I didn't know we had to be business casual. So I was going to go in something like this. <laughs> Sasha and Megan are now big fans of Below Deck Mediterranean, which I take full credit for. But also, Katie deserves some credit for that. She told me to watch it. We might just wear the dress that I bought the other day from a thrift store. Because it'll be hot. 
But anyway, the camera has to charge, so stay tuned with what I decide for the for that, for the outfit, okay? Don't go anywhere. I can sense you wanted to go somewhere, but don't do it. Oh wait, last thing. Megan bought me these coasters. Aren't they adorable? From Arizona. So we've been using them. Okay, that's all. Yeah, we'll check back in. Can't believe I chipped the paint again on my desk.